Meanwhile, foreign interest in Jammu and Kashmir remains. It's not the first time that an entity that has nothing to do with the state has chosen to speak on it. And worse, lecture India about it. The 14th session of the Organization of Islamic Cooperation, or OIC, summit was held in Mecca three days ago. At the summit, the OIC reiterated its support for the right to self-determination of the people of Jammu and Kashmir. The joint statement of the conference called for the speedy establishment of a UN Commission of Inquiry to investigate human rights violations. The OIC went so far as to instruct India, instruct India to allow the commission, this commission and other international organizations access to what it described as Indian-held Kashmir. It's wrong on so many levels. Pakistan is suspected to have played a major part in finalizing the OIC's joint statement, but India will have none of it, and rightly so. In a strong reaction, the Indian Ministry of External Affairs said that the OIC had no right whatsoever to speak on Jammu and Kashmir. It is an internal matter. The ME also made it clear that Jammu and Kashmir is an integral part of India. It is not Indian-held Kashmir. In a statement, the MEA said, and I quote, the OIC has no locus standi in matters relating to the state of Jammu and Kashmir, which is an integral part of India. It is reiterated that the OIC should refrain from making such unwarranted references. The OIC, remember, is a 57-member strong group of Muslim nations. It is led by Saudi Arabia. And its misadventure comes within months of the group inviting India as a guest of honor. That was interesting, too. India was a guest of honor at one of their summits to address a foreign minister's meeting in Abu Dhabi. That was March this year. Former Indian External Affairs Minister Sushma Swaraj delivered that address at the 46th foreign minister's meet in the UAE. And this invitation as a guest of honor for India came despite strong protests from OIC member Pakistan. The Pakistani foreign minister Shah Mahmood Qureshi even skipped that meeting in protest. At the meeting, Sushma Swaraj had raised the issue of terrorism. Without naming Pakistan explicitly, she had said that terrorism is caused by distortion of religious and misguided belief. She also emphasized that the fight against terrorism is not a confrontation against any religion. Despite the current acrimony, it is believed that India continues to be satisfied with the breakthrough made during Sushma Swaraj's participation in that meeting in March, and India will continue to engage with this group. While several OIC nations, including Bangladesh, have supported India's membership to this group, India has a large section of Muslim population, remember, it is string, still strongly opposed by countries like Pakistan, and we know why. India's involvement with the OIC is part of a larger West Asia strategy. Under Prime Minister Modi's leadership, India has boosted ties with this region. But while India is keen on a friendly, mutually beneficial relationship, it has little or no tolerance for parochialism of any kind. And the message has gone straight to where it should be going.